It's a point of emphasis after watching the film that we need to be a little bit tougher, uh, make contact first, going after rebounds on free throws, uh, quit watching the ball, we're going for rebounds. Um, and just moving forward, it's just a, a big point of emphasis for us and, and just making sure that we're the ones hitting first and we're the ones stepping first to go after the rebounds. It kind of seems like this time of year where just the grind of the season kind of gets to people mentally. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, do, how do you kind of get over that? Uh, just trust in the work that you do every day. Trust in everything that you've, you've put in this so far, whether it's conditioning, whether it's lifting, um, extra reps, all that stuff. Just just believing in that, knowing that your teammates trust you, your coaching staff believes in you. Um, and this is, like I said, this is my fifth year doing it too. So personally, I have to do a better job of just knowing that it's, it's going to come full circle and trust all the stuff that I've done. Um, but my, my teammates too, they're, especially for the younger guys, it's their first time playing college basketball in February where you're in the middle of conference play. And it can wear on you, but if you just kind of trust and believe everything that you've done is going to pay itself off, then we'll be good. Kenny said he wants to see some more from you. Is there something different that they're asking you to change about your game from Bucknell? I haven't seen a lot of your tape from there, but they ask you to play a different role when it comes to physicality? No, I just I have to do a better job of, of like I said earlier, just stepping first and making making the contact first. Um, they're not really asking anything crazy out of me. It's, I have to, it's, and it's not a matter of adjusting anymore. I'm, I'm used to playing in the SEC now. It's, it's not my first game. I just have to do a better job of, of being a leader, getting back to what I was doing, talking, jumping around, being vocal, whether I'm on the court or whether I'm off the court, and just kind of get back to that energy guy that I was before. I kind of took a w got away from that after I got hurt, and I just have to get back. You had a couple of open shots there last game. They looked good when they left your, your hand. Mm -hmm. How confident are you that you'll be able to continue to step in and hit those big ones? Oh, I'm, I'm really confident. I work on that every day, whether it's with KP or whether it's with Coach Barbie or Joel or myself in the gym. Uh, it's stuff that I do every day, and like I said before, just kind of trust in that process and trust in the reps and stuff that you do every day, and knowing that it's going to pay off, whether it was last game where I missed or whether it's next game or the game after that, that it's going to come full circle. I'm um, just trusting everything that you do and, and believing in that and trying not to stay away from that and, and staying mentally tough. Can't whether shots are falling or not, one thing you can do is not just control the effort, you're down anything like that for you personally, how important it is to you know, excel in that area going forward. It's obvious now that this team needs some people that will throw their weight around a little bit. Yeah, uh, I said before, I got to get back to that being that, oh, being that energy guy. Uh, I kind of got away from it. I don't know if it was my injury. I was afraid to use my hand a little bit more. Just knowing that I'm healthy and knowing that I have to do that for us to win. Um, men always score points, which is okay. I don't really care about all that as much as I care about winning. And obviously last game I didn't do a very good job of that. So. It appears though I didn't want to win, and that's not the case, but uh, just being physical and kind of understanding that I have to be that guy for us and get back to being that energy guy for us to win games. The word toughness was used a lot of the game and that you guys laughed at against Auburn. Do you like the fact that you turn around and go up against a team that prides himself on being tough right after that when you kind of get called out by coach? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a good test for us. Um, after watching the film and kind of seeing and watching that you got pushed around a little bit um, and then going after it yesterday in practice and Went after it again today in practice and just, like I said before, just trusting that everything we're doing the past two days is going to pay off tomorrow night. Um, and I, th I think it's a good test for us going going into the game, uh, knowing that, like you said, they, they pride themselves on that. And that's something that we have to get now, get in our head is that we have to pride ourselves on being tough. We have tough guys and we just have to, uh, have to prove it. The big matter is such a reflection of them. How much does it piss off getting you guys out of the game like that? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if he said anything about it, but it definitely makes him angry um, because we got away from like what we do with him and everything that you do with Coach Coach Payne working out. Um, he wants you to translate to the games. For me, like in the post, I, I've been pump faking a lot. And, like, we never work on that. So he's always asked me, "Why are you doing that?" And it's just like a like a little mental block, I guess. And and so it, he just wants everything to translate from what you do in practice and you all the reps, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reps doing something, and then you don't do it in the game. He's like, well, why did we do it? Why am I putting all this time and effort into it for it to not pay off? Um, but no, he, he definitely wasn't the wasn't the happiest camp. Hey, just in general, not just you. How important is it for other guys to step up so you're not so reluctant and not get I mean, it's big. We only have eight guys right now that are on scholarship that are playing um, and moving forward, it's a, a beast of a season. Conference play is always hard. And you go into the conference tournament, you have three more games, it's also hard. Uh, 
we do have to rely on, on everybody. It's not just on Ashton and Nick and Emmanuel and Tyrese to, to score or to, to get us stops. Um, it has to be the three guys coming off the bench with me, Keon, and Johnny as well. Um, and, and all of us really just coming together, huddling, talking about everything, talking about what you see, and not just trying to play and trying to do everything one on one, but just coming together and playing a spot. How do you think you played on Nick's mind? You know, he got out played it. Coach Johnny said, uh, Wild is really good. How do you think Nick responded to that? Uh, I mean, I think Nick did a good job yesterday in film of being receptive, um, practice yesterday being receptive, talking with the coaches yesterday. Uh, this isn't Nick's first year of college basketball anymore, so it's it's so easy for when, when you're getting criticized and you're getting talked to, to to defend yourself right away, but he's definitely been more mature about it, and, and the coaches asked him to do something, and he does it. So we watch him film yesterday, I mean, all of us, but with him, like, he understands what's at stake for himself, and he has to play up to that level at all times. But it's like you're not going to play perfectly every game. You're not going to have 25 and 15 every game. But he is always going to hustle. He's always going to play hard. It just happened like one game where it didn't always happen. But Nick is Nick is a completely different kid from the beginning of the season where he is able to get critiqued and then go out and perform well. Did, did he take it too personally before? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I wasn't I wasn't here the past two years. I don't know what it was like, but I think everybody, you're, I, mean, I do it too. Your first instinct is to to defend yourself or to say, well, well, this yes, or that. Yes, sir, Nate. <laughs> I'm to say, well, this or well, that, but everybody's been, been really good with being receptive and kind of understanding that the coaches aren't going to tell you something to mess you up. They're trying to help you. They're trying to help you achieve your dreams, but like we need to win here first for any of that before any of that stuff happens. And I think that all of us kind of understand what's at stake now is we have to kind of get this thing moving, especially for February. Like we can't have any lapses going into the conference tournament. Or anything like that. Hey, Coach Payne mentioned uh, fight and aggressiveness repeatedly in yeah. the end of this game. How do you balance that with a lot of these games? You know, I think there were 49 fouls. Called a ton of free shows in the Auburn game. How, how do you balance the fight and the rest of this with the way some of these games are being uh, I think just being the first one, like in the first four minutes of the game, just setting the standard, letting that, letting the other team know, letting the referees know that this is going to be a physical game. But we're not here to foul. We're not here to try to like foul ourselves out of the game. But that we need to be the first ones to throw that like that punch, letting them know that like if we do foul, like this is what the fouls are going to look like. It's not going to be a touchy. Like hand checks and stuff like that, like gashing their call for a hand check. That like this is not, you know what I mean? This isn't like high school basketball. You're gonna get bumped and pushed around. And, but just setting the standard right from the get that this is how we're gonna play and this is who we are. This is how we're gonna play for the rest of the year.